<laughs> this video lesson will help solve free response question number one from the 2012 AP Chemistry exam. Uh, let's read through the question. A 1.22 gram sample of a pure monoprotic acid symbolized for the generic HA was dissolved in distilled water. The HA solution was then titrated with 0.25 molar sodium hydroxide. pH measured throughout. Data is recorded in this table. The equivalence point was reached when 40 mils of the NaOH solution has been added. Um, so let's move on to the first question. Explain how the data in the table provide evidence that HA is a weak acid rather than a strong acid. Well, the biggest data uh, point here is that the equivalence point we were told was 40 mils. And look at the pH at the equivalence point. The pH is higher than 7, uh, so it's in the weak base range. Remember, in any neutralization, of course, one of the products, any acid-base neutralization, one of the products is water. In the case of a weak acid neutralization, the other product is the conjugate base of the weak acid. And so when all of the acid has been neutralized at 40 mils, there remains water as one product, but also the, the anion of the weak acid is a conjugate base. And so the pH is a little bit higher than 7. Second question asks, part B, uh, write the balanced net ionic equation that occurs. Uh, and that, of course, is shown here. So HA is the acid, and OH minus is the base. You don't have to show sodium uh, from the sodium hydroxide because that's going to be a spectator ion, so it doesn't react. Uh, and, of course, the products are water and the anion of the acid, which is, again, the weak conjugate base. Part C of the question asks you to calculate the number of moles of the unknown acid that were titrated. We are given some information. We know the molarity and we know the volume of the titrant, the base that is used to neutralize the acid. Uh, the molarity was 0 0.25 molar NaOH, and the volume was uh, 40 mils, 0 0.04 liters. Remember, M times V, molarity times volume, gives you number of moles of the base. And then you need to convert to acid. Now, here's the balanced chemical equation up here at the top, and you can see that uh, it's all a one-to-one -one mole ratio, so there's really no uh, mole ratio conversion you need to do. If you were going to do it formally, you would put 1 HA, it's one-to-one, -one, so 1 HA to 1 NaOH, and when you do this uh, multiplication out, you end up uh, with an answer of 0 0.01 moles of the acid that is neutralized. Part D of the question asks you to calculate the molar mass of the unknown HA. Remember, molar mass uh, is always calculated by dividing grams by the number of moles. And we are given this information in the initial problem statement, 1.22 grams of the sample. So we have 1.22 grams, and we just calculated the number of moles up there, so divided by 0 0.01 moles. So our answer then for the molar mass is 122 grams per mole. Part E of the question is when things start to get complicated. Uh, let's read through the, the problem. Assume the initial concentration of the HA solution before NaO and H, NaOH was added is 0 0.2 molar. Determine the pH of the initial HA solution. Now remember, uh, pH is the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration, which is written here. Uh, so we need to figure out H3O+. plus. What is the hydrogen ion concentration? And we're given a little bit of initial information to get going. We're given the acid uh, dissociation constant, or, or Ka. So if we can set up a Ka expression shown here, then you can begin to solve this problem. Uh, so I've written out the uh, Ka. 6.3 times 10 to the negative 5 is equal to the products over reactants to the, uh, with the um, coefficients as exponents. This is all one-to-one, -one, so there are no coefficients here. So here's the Ka expression, and notice this is what we want to solve for right here, H3O+. plus. So uh, we can get started with a couple of assumptions. First of all, notice um, here on the right, 
the this is the uh, the neutralization. I'm sorry, the ionization expression. Here's our initial HA right here. Uh, in water, it will ionize, forming H3O plus and A minus. And notice everything's one to one. So these two, uh, the concentration of these two ions must be equal in solution. For every one HA that ionizes, you get one H3O plus and one A minus. So we can, with confidence, say that these two concentrations are equal. And so notice the numerator here uh, of the Ka expression, that those two numbers are equal. So I'm just going to say something like, you know, let x equal both of those things, H3O plus, that's an H, um, and A minus. So my value for the numerator will be x squared. What's the value for K, or sorry, the um, HA after ionization? Because that, that's the, uh, remember, products over reactant. So how much has ionized? Well, um, the, the value for HA will be uh, the initial amount put into solution, which was 0 0.2 moles per liter. That's a given value right here, minus the amount that ionizes. So uh, let me... Let me show you here. Let me remove some of this stuff. And um, imagine that uh, we put some HA into solution, 0 0.2 moles per liter, and some of it ionizes and goes to the right. So some of this initial HA disappears, if you will, in solution and goes to the right. Uh, how much is gone? Well, that amount can be determined if we know the pH, H3O+. That's what we're trying to figure out here. So we can essentially say, and remember, we said that the pH, H3O+, plus, is equal to some value X. We showed that here. So I can say HA um, is equal to 0 0.2, which was our initial concentration. That's a given value, minus X, the amount that ionizes. Now, here's where we can make an important assumption. Uh, the amount that ionizes is really tiny. Remember that this is, look up here at the Ka expression, this is a really, a pretty weak acid, 6.3 times 10 to the negative fifth. So very little will ionize compared to the initial concentration. Um, so we can essentially say that this is just about equal to 0 0.2, since so little ionizes. A general rule of thumb is that um, if the Ka expression is two orders of, mag of magnitude smaller than the initial concentration, it's safe to use this assumption that so little ionizes that um, the initial concentration won't be affected by the amount that ionizes and goes to the right in the ionization expression up here. Uh, and in this case, uh, our initial concentration, 0 0.2 moles per liter up here, is 10 or, sorry, uh, four orders of magnitude larger than the Ka value. So we're well within a safety zone of this assumption. So I can say the HA concentration is the initial concentration since so little ionized and it's a weak acid. So now we can pretty easily solve for H3O plus. So here we go, 6.3 times 10 to the negative fifth, that's 10 to the negative fifth, that's the value for Ka, is equal to x squared, remember I'm saying let x equal the H3O plus value here, and I know that A minus is also equal to x, that's, that's this expression right here, that's shown right there, over 0 0.2. So that's a pretty straightforward uh, solution. I just need to multiply both sides by 0.2 and take the square root, and uh, my value ended up x is equal to, of course, the, the H3O plus concentration is equal to 3.5 times 10 to the negative 3 moles per liter. That's not the end of the question. Remember, we are asked to determine the initial pH. What's the pH of the initial HA concentration? Well, now we know the H plus concentration, and remember, pH is equal to the negative log of H plus or H3O plus. We can use them interchangeably. So I can just take the negative log of 3.5 times 10 to the negative 3, and uh, that value came out to be uh, 2.4. So that's the pH of the initial HA uh, uh, solution.
The final part, F, of this uh, pre response question number one is uh, a little more complicated than E even was. Calculate the value of the concentration of H3O plus in the solution after 30 mils of the titrant, NaOH, has been added and the total volume of the solution is 80 mils. Well, we were told 30 mils of the NaOH is added, so we know 30 mils of NaOH. Therefore, the remaining 50 mils must have been the acid. So we can calculate the number of moles of both the acid and the base by doing simply M times V. Uh, molarity, so here's an example for the acid, 0.2 molar, time 50 mils or 0.05 liters. Here's a number of moles of acid that were neutralized and moles of base that were neutralized. So then what is the value of H3O plus after that amount of neutralization has occurred? In other words, there appears to be, the question is asking, there is some excess acid in solution even after this 30 mils of NaOH have been added. How much and what's the pH? So let's write down some initial conditions of, uh, before the neutralization. We figured out we had 0 0.01 moles of the acid and we had 0 0.0075 moles of the base. And uh, before neutralization, we can assume because ionization was so low, it's a weak acid, that we had no A minus in solution. After neutralization, 0 0.0075, the OH minus, will neutralize that amount of the acid. So you subtract that, minus 0 0.0075, and after the neutralization, you still have 0 0.0025 moles of the acid in solution. All of the base will have been consumed, so there's none of that. And uh, whatever had been neutralized will produce the, uh, the conjugate base, the uh, anion in solution. So that's 0 0.0075 moles in solution. Now we can calculate our post-neutralization uh, concentrations uh, based on the results of this calculation right here. Um, so I've written the Ka expression up here and notice we know a number of these things now or at least we can calculate them. We can calculate the A minus concentration shown here and we can calculate the HA concentration uh, shown here in the Ka expression. Remember this was all completed in a total volume of 80 mils so the calculation of, uh, of molarity is actually pretty easy, number of moles per liter. And we know number of moles, and we know it's 0.08 liters. So for example, uh, the concentration then of the unknown acid, HA, is equal to 0 0.0025 moles divided by 0.08 liters. And you can do the same thing for the concentration of A minus is equal to 0 0.0075 moles per 0.8 liters. Sorry, 0 0.08 liters. So now we know the concentrations of both HA and the anion A- minus after the neutralization. But remember that HA is a weak acid and it will dissociate a little bit. It will ionize and go to the right according to this expression right here. But it's a weak acid, so it won't ionize much. So we figured out everything except for H3O plus in the Ka expression shown up here in the top right. So I'm just going to assign a variable to that. Let x equal H3O plus. And we know that uh, H3O plus um, will, uh, will increase as HA uh, decreases. So we can say that um, the, the value of HA in solution will be point, well, the initial concentration after the first amount of neutralization, 30 mils of NaOH, will be 0 0.0313 minus X, and A minus will increase as uh, the initial weak acid uh, dissociates. So that'll be uh, 0.0938 plus X. However, remember that uh, X is very likely much, much smaller than either 0 0.0938, the initial value of the anion, or uh, 0 
0.313, the initial value of the weak acid. And that's because the Ka is so low. Remember that it will dissociate so weakly in such a small concentration that the initial value won't go down by very much, neither will the initial concentration of the anion increase very much. So we can uh, essentially say we know the value of uh, the initial value of both HA and A minus because dissociation is so weak. And so now we know three of the four variables in the Ka expression and we can solve for H3O plus by just substituting those variables in. So as written at the bottom of the page, we've got the Ka value 6.3 times 10 to the negative 5 times H3O plus. And we said let X equal H3O plus. So we've got X right here times the value of A minus, the anion, over the initial value of, oh, that's a mistake. Uh, that should say 0 0.0313. Let's, uh, let's rewrite that, 0 0.0313. There we go. And you can just simply solve for X. And remember, X is the H3O plus concentration. We're not asked to solve for pH. So this is the final answer uh, for this question. Mm-hmm. <laughs>